Look who's back. Again. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. We can see you, Carl. We can totally see you. Come on, you're better than this. All that prowling around. Yeah, you're the king of the jungle. Have you thought about going vegan, Carl? (laughs) (laughs) Night vision in relation to quantum mechanics. The first type of night vision goggles were called the Generation Zero goggles. They were first introduced by Dr. Vladimir K. Zorkin, and he was the first to offer night vision devices on the market for civilian use. However, in 1939, the German army developed night vision goggles to be used for the military in World War II and the Korean War. The next brand of night vision goggles were called the Generation 1 goggles, and they were used in the Vietnam War. It is that green, grainy glow that you see in footage from nighttime battles or in action movies. It's called night vision, and tonight's good question, how does it work? Scientists interpret quantum mechanics to mean that a tiny piece of material, like a photon or electron, is both a particle and a wave. So how does quantum mechanics relate to night vision? Depending on the type of night vision technology used, there are two different ways night vision can work. The first is thermal imaging. This technology operates by capturing the upper portion of the infrared light spectrum, which is emitted as as heat by objects instead of simply reflected as light. As you can see in the pictures below, the hotter objects, or warm bodies, emit more of this light than the cooler objects such as trees, cars, or buildings. So how does thermal imaging work? First, a lens focuses the infrared light emitted by all of the objects in view. The focused light then passes through an infrared detector of elements, which creates a temperature pattern, a thermogram. The thermogram is then translated into electric impulses, which are sent to a signal processing unit for that data to be displayed. On the display, there are different colors depending on the intensity of the infrared emission. The combination of all of these impulses from all of the elements creates the final image. This next video shows the effects of thermal imaging as water is boiled in a kettle. Our eyes are detectors and represent the world as we see, as colors. But our eyes only detect a very small part of the electromagnetic spectrum known as visible light or radiation. There are, however, other wavelengths or parts of the spectrum that are invisible to our eyes, such as infrared. Thermal imaging is the ability to see and capture radiation from the infrared infrared light spectrum. Thermal imaging cameras are specifically designed to see and capture infrared radiation waves and display them as a visual image on a screen. When displayed, temperature differences are visible as warm objects stand out against cooler objects or background. Black body radiation is the term that relates thermal imaging to quantum mechanics. Black body radiation is simply the changes in intensity and wavelength of light emitted as an object is heated. So, it absorbs all the external radiation so any light from the object is solely based on its temperature. This relates to thermal imaging because in thermal imaging the upper portion of the infrared light spectrum is also emitted as heat by objects instead of simply being reflected as light. Also, similar to black body radiation, In thermal imaging, there are different colors depending on the intensity of the infrared emission. Night vision is awesome. Now, do you want to see something really cool? Of course. Turn off the lights. Industrial strength night vision goggles. Holy Santa. Can you imagine if we had these when we were 12? Even better. We got them when we're 40. You know what's amazing? They're not that noticeable on your face. Right? Yeah. Ah! Ah! Another type of night vision is called image enhancement. Image enhancement works by collecting the tiny amounts of light, including the lower portion of the infrared light spectrum that are present but may be imperceptible to our eyes, and amplifying it to the point that we can easily observe the image. Night vision devices rely on image intensifier tubes to collect and amplify infrared and visible light. I will now explain how image enhancement works through the pictures seen here. The first step is the objective lens captures a small amount of ambient or near infrared light, such as moonlight or starlight. 
Then, the light passes to the image intensifier tube, where the photocathode converts the photons of light energy into electrons. Then, the electrons pass through a thin disk called the microchannel plate, or the MCP. It has over 10 million channels in it and works as an electron multiplier. As electrons travel through and hit the walls of the channels, thousands more electrons are released due to the process called cascade secondary emission. Basically, the original electrons collide with the side of the channel, exciting atoms and causing the other electrons to be released. Next, the multiplied electrons hit a phosphor screen, and the energy of the electrons causes the phosphors to become excited and release photons. Since the electrons maintain their position in relation to the channel they pass through, one can have a perfect image because the electrons stay in the same alignment as the original photons. The green phosphor image is then seen through the ocular lens, which allows for one to magnify and focus the image. Phosphors create the green image that is known with night vision. The heart of night vision technology is the image intensifier tube, which amplifies existing light for an impressive intensified low light or nighttime view. Night vision works by taking a small amount of ambient light, such as moonlight or starlight, and converting photons or light energy into electrons or electrical energy. These electrons are drawn through a wafer-thin disk about the size of a quarter, which contains over 10 million channels. As the electrons pass through the channels, they are multiplied thousands of times. These multiplied electrons then bounce off of a phosphorus screen, converting the electrons back into photons, which gives you an impressive, intensified nighttime view. Image enhancement is related to quantum mechanics through the photoelectric effect. The photoelectric effect is when electrons are knocked loose from their atoms by light, resulting in a possible electric current. Einstein proposed that a beam of light is quantized into small bundles of electromagnetic energy called photons. This relates to the image enhancement process because when the light passes through the photocathode, the photons essentially knock the electrons loose, which allows for the transitions from photons to electrons. The electrons then take the place of the photon as the carrier of the signal of the light. The MCP then multiplies the electrons, which amplifies the signal and makes the image stronger. 